Hey everybody, Casey here, and I'm back at it with more of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. I think finally we're going to be going to Hogsmeade. In the previous episode, I was going to go, and then I think her. You can see in front of you, Professor McGonagall's like, Nope, you can't go because of all the stuff you've been doing in the past. You're punished. You gotta stay low for a bit. Focus on your studies and your schoolwork and stuff, which I basically have done. So hopefully now, I'll be able to finally go. Oh, and also, we want to go to Hogsmeade because we want to go to the Three Broomsticks, which I believe we're going to have to meet somebody which will help us in maybe trying to find your brother. Hello, Professor. I believe you have earned the right to go to Hogsmeade. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, Professor. That's it, huh? Couple words, that's it. You can see somebody in the background. They're floating. Here's Rowan. You did it, Casey. Hogsmeade, here we come. I can almost taste the butterbeer. I'll need to take careful notes after each sip to reproduce the recipe. Hagrid said my brother knew Madame Rosemurda, the landlady at the Three Broomsticks. I need to talk to her first and find out what she knows. That won't keep us from drinking butterbeer though, will it? We will definitely drink butterbeer. Yay! That's stop it. Just don't, don't ever do that again. When it is time, go to Hogsmeade. I'll meet you at the Three Broomsticks. We'll find out who knows about Jacob. So here we go. We are going to finally go to the Three Broomsticks. I'm so excited to finally get to a, like, a different area as well. Hey, who's that in the background? First time in Hogsmeade? How did you know? You have that look about you. Excited, cold, and not exactly sure where you're going. I'm Andre. I know you from flying class. You're a third year like us, and you're already the best Quidditch player in the school. Huh? Charlie Weasley might be a bit better, but I do love Quidditch. That's why I never go anywhere without my pride of Portree Scarf, the pride to the best team in the league. What are you doing in a Hogsmeade? Shopping for myself and my family back home. I didn't think the top Quidditch players cared about fashion. Aha. Clothes make the wizard. The better you look, the better you feel. The better you are at Quidditch. Or in this case, curse breaking. You know who I am? Everyone knows who you are, KZ. The curse sites had me trapped in the Quidditch changing rooms when you broke the curse on their vaults. You saved my life. Well, I had a lot of help from my friends. Well, I want to help too. A curse-breaking hero like yourself needs a proper outfit for exploring Hogsmeade. Let me give you something. It looks just like one of the locals. What would you like to wear? A cool coat, some smart trousers. Trousers are pants, right? You gotta go with a cool coat. Well, how about a cool coat? I didn't know it would be so cold. Good choice, Cursebreaker. Now you look like you belong to Hogsmeade. You really think this helps me look like I belong in Hogsmeade? Huh? Absolutely. You're going to be breaking curses and getting dates in no time. Damn it. I can't have that date I wanted so much so bad. <laughs> All I care about is entering the next curse vault and finding my brother. I understand. Most students don't start dating until they're at least fourth years. It was great meeting you, Andre. Now if you excuse me, I need to see Madame Rose Murda at the Three Broom Six. Anytime, Curse Breaker. I'm always happy to help. So I got a sweet, sweet coat. Oh, I missed it. What does it say? I missed it. Anyway, let's go meet Rowan. The Three Broom Sticks. So there is Rowan. Let's just do a little bit of a looky-loo. There's Hagrid. Because I know that Hagrid was going to be here. Alright. I can't believe we're in the Three Broomsticks. I've read about it in Sites of Historical Sorcery, Notable Magical Names of Our Time, Great Wizards of the 20th Century. I'm glad we could experience it together, Rowan. Now to find out what Madame Rosemurda knows about my brother, 
and his research on the cursed vaults. KC, over here! It's Hagrid! Welcome to the Three Broomsticks. What do you think so far? I'm thirsty, it seems like fun. Well, I might as well have one of them sweet, sweet, famous butterbeers while I'm at it. Clear the way! Butterbeer for the ones coming through. Or something. Oh! Wasn't this woman sitting right behind us when we met Rowan? Hello friends, welcome to the Three Broomsticks. Hello Rose Murder, Butterbeer's all around please. Butterbeer's right away. Madame Rose Murder, I was wondering if I could ask you about... Half a moment dear, I've got other tables to attend to you see. Be back soon. Now oh, I'm all dejected. Don't worry Casey, Rose Murder will be back and I'm sure she'll tell you everything she knows about your brother. Well now she's not going to probably. You're right, Rowan. Well, cheers then. Ah. Cheers! So we gotta ra wait for her. Hopefully she'll tell me everything. But you know what, if she doesn't, at least we got a butterbeer, right? That was delicious. I knew you'd like it. Sorry about making you wait. Someone had a question? Where's Murder? This is KC, a student at Hogwarts. KC was dying to taste your buddy beer. Yeah, I bet I was. Well, I'm very flattered. Bottoms up. Yeah, but I already drank it. Drank it? Drank it. KC wanted to ask you about Jacob. Was he your brother? Yes, madame. I heard you knew him and was wondering if you had any information about him or a search for the cursed vaults. I remember Jacob. Quiet boy. Sweet. He spent a lot of his time at the bar, scribbling in notebooks. Notebooks? Aye. Then one day, a pair of Ministry Aurors grabbed Jacob by the hood of his robe and dragged him out the door. The only thing left behind was a black quill. Another black quill, Casey. What if your brother transfigured his notes into the quill to hide them from the Ministry? Madame was murder. Please find me that quill. I'll do anything. All right, settle down. I don't throw anything out, so I'm sure it's here somewhere. I'll look in the back, but it may take a few days to find anything. It's a mess in there, and no charm in the world can tidy it up. I might ask you to do an odd job or two in the meantime. Make sure my customers are taken care of while I go dig through the back room. Thank you, Madame Rose Murder. You're welcome, dear. I hope you find your brother. She's a very sweet woman. And assuming she's not screwing me over, like this quest is, by the way, maybe we'll find her brother. Uh, okay, finally. We got the eight hours up. Let's see if she's actually going to tell something that we can use. Hello, dear. Welcome back to the Three Broomsticks. Thanks. How can I help you? Would you work a night shift or two serving butterbeer? I could use the extra pair of hands while I look for your brother's black quill. You want me to work at the Three Broomsticks? You'll be a natural, and I'll even pay you for your trouble. There's no need to be nervous. Just be sure not to drop a tray, or spill a drop of butterbeer, or take a spill yourself. If that was me, I wouldn't last an hour. I would do all of those things. So we get to be a server. So now can I actually get the information that I want, please? So how was your first shift at the inn? Well, I nearly dropped a mug of butterbeer, but the nice wizard over there transfigured the mug into a mongoose at the last second. Hey, I hope you paid for that mongoose. I'm trying to remember where I put that black quill, but all I keep finding is other things I forgot about. For sure it's on the issues of Gerdaya Root, request to hold meetings of the Celestial Warback Fan Club, 
It never ends. Additionally, I'm trying to produce a special concoction, an extra sweet brew of butterbeer. I just haven't had time to collect some of the more obscure ingredients. I'll help. I don't want to help. Clearly I'll help because I'm the best, nicest person in the world. I'd be honored to help you gather the ingredients, just point me in the right direction. That's the spirits. I'll be sure to tell Professor Dumbledore how helpful you've been. I need you to grow a sugar shrub for me in your herbology class. There's also an ingredient called Mallow Sweet that you can find in your potions classroom. I'll also need a bit of Moondew. Fresh or dry doesn't matter. With those three ingredients, I can brew my extra sweet buddy beer. I'll get them right away. I appreciate your help, Casey. I'll find your brother's black quill by the time you return. Well, shucks. Shuck, shuck, shuck. This is going to be a lot of waiting. Because I got to get all these ingredients, and of course, that means energy, which I don't have. Yep, this is great. This is fantastic. This is going to take some time to do. If these are all eight hour quests, I'm going to go punch a baby. I'm just kidding. Good morning, everyone. Today will be a practical lesson on the ways magic can help us grow plants faster. Choose a plant and grow it before the end of class. I'll be timing you. This is perfect. I can grow the plant Madame Rose Murda wants for her special body bear. Wait, what was the plant called? Salt fertilizing shrub, sugar shrub, gridire root. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. I don't remember. Like, I know there's sugar shrub and gridire root, but I don't remember which one's which. Sugar shrub! I originally thought that was the first one, but I really just wanted to make sure, because I don't know what happens if I do the wrong one, right? Sugar shrub, of course. That's definitely it. Madame Rose Murda said she wanted to make an extra sweet butterbeer. I hope I've picked the right plant. You did. So this is actually good. This is the type of spell where things grow fast, so the quest is fast. And I do with seven minutes to spare. Use care when transferring your plant. Good luck. Oh my god. Okay. Transfer. Transfer. Yeah, that's how you transfer, man. Great job. You're amazing. I'm amazing. I get the feeling all the other quests are going to be a lot longer than this, though. Finished! I've grown a perfect specimen of a sugar shrimp. Whoever drinks butter beer made with this is in for a sugar shock. Very good work today, students. Class is missed. I need to get this back to Madame Rosmurda. Hopefully, she's found my brother's black quill. Well, unfortunately, I still have two other things to do. Like this one! We have to figure out which one is the shorter one so I can do it first. If I want the black quill my brother left at the three broomsticks, I need to find Mallow Sweet for Madame Rosmurda. It must be around here somewhere. Don't be long, don't be long, don't be long. It's really short. It's really short. So I should be able to get through this pretty fast. Oh, we changed angle. Oh, there we go. Okay. I thought it, I had to do another one, but nope. Here it is. Mellow Sweet. I've heard this stuff is used for divination. Why would Madame Rose Murder be using it for body beer? Maybe I'll ask her when I bring it back to the three broomsticks. Ooh, I don't like the sounds of that. She's working for somebody. 
She's in on it. So the final one is to go and collect Moondew. And I hope this is going to be a one I request as well. Corridor. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in here. Not since like the very, very beginning of the game. Like I think it would probably have been like the first episode. Or maybe the second one? Madame Moore's murder said she needs Moondew for her special butter beer recipe. I could have sworn I saw some in here before. It also feels like a lifetime ago. Okay, we did it. I found some Moondew. I'd better hurry and get all the ingredients back to Madame Rose Murder. Assuming we don't get in trouble. Really? Really? Have you gathered everything I asked for? I need time to set things up at the end. Why would you do that to me? Why? Why would you do that? Well, note to self, actually stop the recording before you close it. In doing so, I actually corrupted the file so I don't have what I wanted to show you. I got the audio, but that doesn't really help me. But what actually ended up happening is I got the ingredients, I gave it to um, Rose Murder. She actually ends up creating a new extra sweet butterbeer. She gives it to everybody on the house. We all like it. She finds the black quill. I cast Reparfarge and that converts it into my brother's notebook and everything is awesome. And then that dude, Mr. Filch, comes out of nowhere. The other dude with the really long hair, the old guy. He comes out of nowhere and he's like, well, of orders of Professor Snape, no students can have anything with the Cursed Vault, which does make sense. It's just, well, now he took it, and I think I'm going to have to find a way to get it back. So that is where we're at so far, but in this episode, I mean, we did do a lot, other than what I just mentioned. We actually went to a new area. We went to the Hogsmeade and Three Broomsticks, which was really awesome. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.